Panther crew, I have two questions for you. Since almost everyone will appear in Marvel's Infinity War, who would be on your top five list of superheroes to die? And who do you think the new Avengers lineup will consist of after part two? Thanks, and keep up the great work. Don't, for most of the question, can't even really get into it. That's just, we could sit here for hours Everybody and speculate. Everybody dies. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody could be in the new Avengers. Who knows? Um, but it does just bring up the question, because usually people form this question as, who's going to die in Civil War? That's usually what people are asking. I honestly don't think anybody's going to die in Civil War. I mean, if it is maybe a Hawkeye, maybe some third-string lieutenant in S.H.I.E.L.D. working with Nick Fury. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> but it ain't going to be Captain America. It ain't going to be Thor. It ain't going to be any of the major players are going to die. But Infinity War, that could be a different story. Like, a lot of people the last few months, you know, talked to me about, Oh, you think Captain America could die in Civil War? Nah, Chris Evans already confirmed. He's already he's starting to shoot Infinity Wars Part One and Two immediately. Like as soon as they're done with Civil War, he's booked for nine months for shooting that. So it's not even just a cameo. He's in all of it. But Civil War or Infinity War One and Two, these are different stories. I, it's very possible we're going to see somebody die now. I have always said, look, they're not going to kill Robert Downey Jr. because he's their money franchise been out. But by the time Infinity War Part Two is done, it's probably time for Robert Downey Jr. to move on from the character anyway. So I think Iron Man could be on the chopping block. I think it's possible could the Chris Hemsworth Thor could be on the chop chopping block. I still don't think uh, Chris Evans as Captain America is going anywhere, but that's certainly a possibility. Um, I don't think we're going to see Scarlet Witch go anywhere. I think she's she's safe for a while. I think Hawkeye is a possibility. Some of the newer characters, I definitely think Falcon could be up there on the sacrificial uh, mantle. I think War Machine, Don Cheadle's War Machine, could be up on the sacrificial. There are very, very few people that I would consider automatic locks that they're safe for uh, something like Infinity War Part 1 and 2. I think just about everybody is going to be fair game for that. I, except for Captain Marvel's not because we got films coming. I think Black Panther is going to be safe from it as well. Those would be a couple, but on, I don't know. Schnepp, who would you think would be automatically safe from getting axed in Infinity War Part 1 or 2? Right, Spider-Man's automatically safe. Yeah, because he belongs to Sony. <clears throat> I think Hulk's automatically safe. Yeah, because he can't die. And also they can't <laughs> do an individual Hulk movie because of the rights issues, so he's kind of a shoe-in to always be like in another movie. Um, I think the one that, that sticks out to me that seems to make sense logistically would be Iron Man, you know? <clears throat> to survive or to die? To die. Like, I think all the rest of them will survive. I thought if anybody was going to die in Avengers Age of Ultron, it should have been Hawkeye, and it shouldn't have been Quicksilver. I thought that was like a cheap, easy way out. Uh, spoiler. Sorry. So if you haven't seen Age of Ultron, you shouldn't be watching this show. Um <laughs> It's live, it's still too, a really so good I can't movie. take it back. Yeah, we can't fix it. Um, seen it. So I can throw that movie I would you. say Iron Man because Tony Stark is a character who is, he's built up Stark Industries, and it's already been passed over. Some of the some of the armor's been passed over to War Machine. So he can obviously pass the Iron Man mantle, can be taken over by anybody else. It would be a different Iron Man for sure, but I just think it also makes sense with who Tony Stark is, who Robert Downey Jr. is, and where he is as an actor in his age. He'll be probably like 56 when they're done with Infinity Wars. Right. So it feels like I don't think they're going to make another Iron Man 4, 5, and 6. That doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And if it does, it'll be a brand new Iron Man. So it seems like if they had to kill somebody, I'm always against like just, oh, just kill somebody. It's like, I don't even know if they have to kill anybody, but if they were going to try to do some kind of a rebooting and the next Avengers would be a brand new team of people, it would make sense to do that. Mark? Yeah, this, this whole question illuminates my fears about Civil War, is that nobody's going to die in Civil War and that there's not a lot of stakes. There's going to be a lot of cuts and bruises and back teen use, but then we're all <laughs> mounting up to go to Infinity War Part 1 and 2, where I think a lot of people are going to die. And I, I kind of I, I echo what Campy asked Schnepp, is like, who do you think is going to survive? Because that's the easier question to answer. It's a smaller list. I think Hawkeye will survive. I think really? I, because I think the storyline that they gave him in Avengers Age of Ultron proves that he's a guy that they're going to want to keep around that maybe somebody else might sacrifice themselves to save somebody like Hawkeye. I think that somebody could be but Captain America. by the time Infinity War 2 comes along, that's three more films. Isn't that like a long chunk of time? It is. Hawkeye's got a family, dude. Okay. You know? yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, Tony Stark, I think he could die. I think Captain America could die. I think Thor might die. I think the Hulk is safe. I think Spider-Man's safe. Black Panther is safe. Captain Marvel is safe. Everybody else, man, you better look out. <clears throat> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.